Dianetic therapy is called auditing. The procedure used in auditing enables you to contact those hidden moments of pain and eliminate their harmful influence over you. All therapy is done by traveling on your time track. Everything you've ever experienced is filed there, in sequence, according to the time it happened. And even though it seems like the moments containing pain and unconsciousness are missing from your time track, they are there, and they can be located. In fact, these engramic events become linked to one another in your reactive mind, and that connection helps you locate them. You see, engrams actually form chains of incidents that have something similar in common. For a simple example, let's say you once were hit by a bike. And years earlier, you had a bad spill on a motorcycle. And back when you were a child, you were injured from a fall off your bike. And even earlier, you suffered a prenatal engram containing the word bike. Hold on, what happened? I tripped over the bike. To your reactive mind, these engrams would form a chain, a series of incidents which contain bikes as part of their content. Now, all engrams also contain a harmful energy or force called charge. This painful or emotional charge is what gives an engram its force and power over you. When incidents form a chain, the later ones contain their own charge plus the force of all earlier incidents on that chain as well. In other words, the later incidents get their strength from the earlier ones. Auditing takes the charge out of these incidents. So when you're auditing a chain of engrams, you want to find the earliest incident on that chain because that's the one that's holding the other ones in place and giving them their force. That first incident is called the basic. The basic on a chain is always your goal and that can be a very, very early engram. Here's why. Think of the reactive mind as an upside down pyramid the upper part of this pyramid is made up of the most recent incidents on your time track. The lower part contains the earliest ones. The cement that holds this pyramid together is all the physical pain and painful emotion you've ever recorded. Now, a chain could consist of incidents that all contain the same kind of pain or injury. Or they might contain the same person. Or the same word or phrase or a similar smell, or similar sounds or voices, and so on. So you can see that many chains could lead down into the prenatal area of your time track, to the first time that pain or phrase or voice appears in an incident. Therefore, the goal in every auditing session is to get into this bottom area, contacting and removing the earliest engrams you can find. Sometimes, you have to go back into the later area to find recent incidents, especially painful emotion engrams. Reducing these later incidents will help uncover the earlier ones hidden beneath them. In addition, these losses will contain trapped life force. Releasing this charge weakens the reactive mind and reinforces your ability to find more engrams and carry on in life. In fact, the release of this emotional charge contained in losses is so important that once the majority of this emotional stress is discharged from your reactive mind, you reach a state known as release. A Dianetic release is a person who has been freed from his major anxieties or illnesses. At the very bottom of this pyramid is the earliest moment of pain and unconsciousness. This is known as basic basic the first engram on the first chain of engrams, and that engram must be found if you're going to become clear. Once basic basic has been erased, the remaining engrams will be much easier to locate and erase. Now, these incidents aren't actually erased, they've just shifted and are now found filed as experiences in your analytical memory banks. In other words, they are now memories, without any pain or charge or force over you. When all the physical pain and painful emotion from your life has been released, the reactive mind will be cleared of its engrams. 
you'll be restored to your optimum state. You will be you. You will be clear. And the next chapter will show you exactly how to begin.